Hello? Morning, Mr. President. Hi, Bob. Sorry to trouble you. It won't take a moment. Uh, I talked to Charlie Schultz this morning about the budget. The budget he's concerned about is just about the, just the mechanics of getting getting things together now. And I wonder how and I wonder uh, if we should take one approach or take one approach or the other. If we had uh, uh, our other things in line and could possibly stand it without our tax increase, I believe I would uh, I would plan to go hit my my regular 60 plus figure. Uh, even and then if it accentuated, you'd have to go back and get the uh, thing. But rather than the two-week slippage or the, uh, uh, the December. December, because what the whole debate's going to be about, we'll never, we'll never get over this hump. They'll say we just put in a half a year for the Defense Department, and uh, I think that they'll just murder us on it. But I'm trying to. I've got to, the uh, we had about a billion that had to try to come out of uh, Gardner's. And uh, I think we finally got six, seven hundred million out. We had Shriver with uh, his campaign. He's pointed out Martin Luther King and and uh, uh, these fellows that don't have basic lawyers. Glad you don't fight your budgets that way. Uh, through uh, Adam Clayton Powell, Martin Luther King, and I don't know really. I just hung up talking to Bill Moyers. I'm trying to get him to sit with Shriver and say if you'll. Let Bob McNamara take 300,000 of your boys, take care of them in the service with their education and health, and if you let Wirtz take 100,000 manpower training, and if you'll take 100,000, we're going to give money to go to college on. I take care of six, seven hundred thousand. I haven't had before. Private industry's taking care of two million. If you'll just get along with what you had last year, uh, a little over it, we'll give you the first supplemental in the war ends. And we'll take a good hunk of the military and put over in poverty if you'll ride with us. But uh, he's uh, he's going around this campaign bill. He's going to try to work it out today. Now that's what's keeping me uh, this thing. I uh, I have this recommendation. Uh, I know you won't discuss it, but the thing that's really troubling me is uh, the private economists that talk to us say that we can stand the budget of 110 to 12 without a tax raise. The uh, public economist, uh, Gardner Ackley, uh, particularly is concerned that we may have to have one, even 110, and we ought to have one. Now, I can't get one. I just know I cannot get it. You're absolutely right. You just absolutely destroy your great society program. That's right. They have already told me that if I can't cut it, they will cut it. And I'm trying to get through with these fellows. Uh, if I told George Mahon this morning that I would speak to him if he eliminated the whole poverty program, he would eliminate it, just period. Yeah. It wouldn't have a dollar in it. I don't care what the mayor of New York said he said. He and Albert Thomas and that group, Rooney, they would eliminate it if I just wouldn't uh, murder them. Yeah. But uh, my boys don't see it. now. Uh, I just don't believe that we're going to be able to, if we could stretch our, if we could justify it, if we could say that our $57 billion takes care of everything except uh, uh, the, uh, whatever it doesn't take care of, the pay President, from December on. A lot of military expenditures taken care of. Second half of fiscal 67, uh, the uh, the expenditures uh, for the what I call a normal defense department will be fully funded in the second half of fiscal 67. It's only the the Southeast Asia expenditures that would not be funded for that second half, and even there we would go ahead and fund what I call the long lead item. This doesn't mean you're not going to be criticized if we go to 57. You are. On the other hand, I, I'll be quite frank with you, I don't see how you're going to get to 110 to 112 unless you do go to 50. No, 
Oh, I think that's right. I think you go to 110 or 112, your great society is going to be gutted. That's right. That's exactly right. Now, you're the only guy I've talked to, though, it's easy. That's exactly the truth. I know that. I know that. I know that. I know that. I honestly think that, given the circumstances you're in, it's about the only thing to do. And then I think you're going to have to come up to June and say, well, the war is continuing. We see a little more clearly today. We did in January, the future, and now we're prepared to go ahead and get the war for defense. And we'll probably have to have a tax increase. At that point, if you've got the great society of appropriations behind you, I think you might get the tax increase. Well, that may be what we do. Uh, uh, when are you leaving? Thursday night? Yeah. yeah right. Now, when are you coming back? Well, I'm going to be back Monday night. I'll be back. Now, where are you going? I'm going to Aspen, Colorado. Why can't you get a plane pick you up uh, when you uh, leave Aspen and come by here? I'd be delighted to. And uh, then to try to come in the after, late in the afternoon, spend the night where we can philosophize a little bit and talk where you don't just have to run, just to for an overnight or at least through a meal time uh, when, when there don't nobody else around. There's some other things I want to talk about, too. And uh, well, if we have to give him any information now, I'd go on with the 57, although I, uh, if I can hold these others where I want them, I'd, I would shoot, I would grab them on taking 60 and 114 or something. Well, okay. I'll try to, I'll try to do it both ways if I can. I'm, uh, I think the big study you've got to make is how you can make this appear a normal budget unless there are other big increases in Vietnam. Yeah. Now, if uh, if I don't make these decisions on these extra troops or something until uh, uh, February, March, uh, we can come in. I think they'll just they'll take a supplemental on extra decisions and follow it. But I believe if I made the I've yeah. got to I've got to put the, the troops in, not in South Vietnam, but I have to put the troops into our domestic uh, strength yeah. in January. As a matter of fact, I'm doing it right now in order to have them when you need them for February, March, or a year from then. The lead times here without calling up the reserve and guard are so great and we're so short of certain units that we plan to use under these circumstances from the reserve guard that we just have to have this build up in military strength. We don't have to, we don't have to decide now to send it to Vietnam. But if you're ever going to have the opportunity to send it to Vietnam, we've got to go in January with the command in there. All right, we'll plan Monday night or Tuesday, uh, get them together uh, on this other thing. In the meantime, you try to write the best presentation you can to, uh, on the 57, uh, showing that uh, you're not doing anything abnormal except something that you can't possibly predict. Make it as look as good as you can. And there are two other things that I would like to give some thought to in your own independent sphere. One of them is the, the tax phase of it, the, the economics, whether you think we are going to get in a runaway inflation and just try to give a little thought to that, and the second one is what steps I could take uh, with the, the horsepower I have or with any horsepower I might bring in that might come up with some plan of getting some talk started somewhere. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you keep saying, which I think is exactly right, I will be, I'm open to anything that anyone suggests out of my field, if you'll just tell it, but if you don't have it, We've got to do something, and the real rocker you put out was that one out of three the other day, and everybody has never recovered from that punch. Well, I and I, I, uh, I'm not, uh, I'm, I'm afraid you could be right, and for that reason, we've just got to find some of these other things. Now, I just don't have the, the imagination to figure out what other things we might do. I wish you and any of your boys around you that uh, that you're talking to, your Adams and the rest of them, that could think of something that we might do. I tried to get them to let me send Humphrey over with Gronowski and talk to the Poles. I just let him visit Gronowski and visit around shaking hands, but get into 
approach to the poles. The uh, State Department considered it two days, and Dean came back and said, absolutely no. That I think it'd be an excellent idea. Well, they said, that, uh, they said it would ruin them. They said it'd make the Russians mad. It looked like we were trying to take their daughter away from them or something. And, but I've got to have some things of that general type. We'll talk about that Monday. You call me whenever you get ready to come. Would it make any difference to you if I got there Tuesday morning? Oh, that's all right. Okay, very good. I'll be there either Monday night or Tuesday morning. All right, trouble is, though, if you get there Tuesday morning, you're going to want to leave right no, immediately. If you'll stay Tuesday night. Well, sir, I can stay as long as you All right, all right, okay. Thank you very much.